All right, guys. So we're here at the Appalachian Caverns, and they have gem mining buckets. They also have tons of rocks and shirts and other kinds of cool stuff here in the gift store. Pretty cool. Our daughter Abby wants one of these pretty bad. So when she sees this video, she's gonna be like, oh. Yeah, check these out. These are pretty cool. Look at how sparkly these geodes are. Pretty cool. Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> so we are at the Appalachian Caverns in Bluntville, Tennessee. Yep. So it's a little dark, of course, it's a cave. So, mm -hmm. um, but there will be lighting throughout, so you'll be able to see some of it. We're not gonna film this whole tour because no. we want you all to come here and see it because that's what we do on this channel is show you the local, um, we want to show off the local stuff yeah. so that you can come here and experience it. Um, here in our Tri-Cities region, so. Yeah. But we've got Stephanie as our tour guide today, um, and I don't know, I'm ready to get started. Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. You having trouble, Jody? Uh, it's a little slippery. <laughs> I thought I was prepared. <laughs> so this is called Cave Girl. And you said the middle was carbonate. calcium carbonate. It's a lot of big terms. <laughs> big words. <laughs> big words, yeah. Um, been a while since I've had chemistry and all that. So um, I always thought it was just called erosion, but I always wanted to know what it was called. And it's cave coral. But she said this was a big fissure of the earth and we're underwater right now. And that's why there's so much. You can hear the water dripping. You can't see it, but... Um, yeah, so like all the water is just seeping through the earth right here. And we're getting ready to be completely underwater. So I can get a cake of this. <laughs> so check out this stalactite. They call it the dragon's head. And it looks just like one. Pretty crazy. And then you got the long hallway here. All right, so we just found out that this cave is actually in the juvenile state of formation. Yes. And it is still growing. Check this out, this is pretty awesome. So she's holding a rock that they found here in the cave. It's got, we think it's called phosphorescent. <laughs> um, so she's holding like a black light to it. And if you hold it down, and then she removes it. It'll hold the UV rays from yeah. the flashlight. So that's really cool. Yeah, hold it. Yeah. So check out the water here from the drips in the cave. You can tell it's building up. Yeah, it's all the rainwater that's falling from the ceiling. Yeah. I do that like they can see me. Yeah, they can see me. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's pretty deep. It's so misty. It's very misty, really cool. Feels great in here, there's a breeze blowing. And then we're gonna take these steps over here to the right, but just an awesome view. I know it's hard to see. Check this formation out guys, coming down the steps. You can see going down pretty nice you having a good time on the tour i'm having so much fun i don't know why we waited so long to do this i know we're gonna have to come back with the kids oh yeah abby would love this yeah so down here at the bottom you can see where the outside is coming in and they have animals that come in here every now and then they said so Sometimes you can see beavers or otters. otters, yeah. But you can see the little bit of light coming in from the outside and 
where it's coming into the cave with the stream. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So check out the water flowing through right here. It's pumping out. She also said that they think there's a two to three acre lake on the other side of one of the rocks. They know there's a lake, but they don't know how big the lake is, but they're guessing two to three acres. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So she said that where there's these circle areas here is where like the moon plays a part on the water that comes through the cave and the water would kind of swirl around in these like um, little whirlpools and then the moon would pull the water up. So it forms these big circle formations. Yeah, and then you can see where it's pulled to the right. Yeah, this. Especially in that one. And that one. They're kind of shifted. It's really cool. Yeah. Well, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Guys, if you're in the area and you're looking for something to do, especially they're open rain or shine yeah so even if it's a rainy day and you need something to do with those kids bring them here it's actually supposed to be better on a rainy day because you have more water through the caves yes and you get to see cooler waterfalls and stuff so yeah so maybe we'll be coming back yeah on a rainy day for sure we're gonna come back and check that out our store our tour guide stephanie she was really good yes we loved her she was great yeah these guys you know they all work on commission so don't forget to tip at the end um yeah um she said it was about a half mile walk yeah um and there's about 50 steps yeah so and it's, it's very 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 slick i wore my chaco sandals and i was sliding he had on just regular old tennis shoes and he was sliding so good pair of shoes yeah it's got good grip um, yeah close that you don't care to get dirty because it's muddy um but not too bad it's not like no. you're gonna be covered in mud or nothing no but they do have a spot where your kids can like crawl through yeah crawl through a little tunnel and it's mud yeah. so and it's always muddy it's always wet um so just keep that in mind if you have kids um but good shoes and just it's like a cool 60 degrees down there and it's supposed to be constant and yeah it's just it was really nice down there when you're coming up Whew. it like takes your breath away because it's right now it's 104 degrees outside yeah the car so, says 104 so when you're coming up out of the cave from 60 degrees to 104 pretty quick it's like oh my god what happened yeah it hits you right in the face and it's like why, you can't breathe why is the air like fire yeah. yeah um but it was so much fun uh I thought I had been here, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember any of this. So this was my here. first time. Yeah. And your first time. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was great. It's yeah. A, something nice to go do. You can do it in an hour, have a good time doing it. Yes. So we will link their website down below. They also have a campground. They mm -hmm. have gym mining. They have um, the private tours, a regular tour. They have lots of options for you so go to that website check it out they also have a facebook page check that out also um it was a lot of fun definitely mm -hmm. worth the trip um so if you all like caving and this kind of thing we're not doing no splunking no, no. we're we're just not <laughs> no. but they do offer like the splunking tours here also um so you can talk to them about that but uh, if you all do like this type of thing, let us know because there's so many caves in our area. I know I want to do Lost Sea next. I think it's the one I want to do next. Well, we've always wanted to do Lost Sea. And there's also Bristol Caverns. And there's Ruby Cave. Mm. And there's Cumberland Gap Cave. Cumberland and... Gap. Yeah, we've got so many caves around here that we can definitely do. Mm -hmm. um, so we may just... We're, guys, we're going to do them anyway. Okay. But <laughs> They're going to be fun. <laughs> but... If you like that kind of thing, just stay tuned. Yeah, we got to rush and go get our daughter. She's getting ready to get off work. Yeah, we got to go get Abby from work. And then 
We've got a bunch of stuff because Abby's baby shower is Sunday. Yes, so. we got to prep for that. Yeah, and then the balloon glow for Fun Fest is also tonight. So we're trying to get all this done because there's so much happening. So um, until next time, make sure you like, share, subscribe. And we'll catch you next time. Yes. Bye.